What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome back to more Evolve. Today we've got another practice and match from my team Triggers Down because we are just a few hours or so away from the big ESL Pro-Am tournament at PAX East live this Friday from Boston at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll put a link to where you can watch it on Twitch. I hope to see a bunch of you there and hear a bunch of you there and watch you type in support for my squad either on Twitter or the Twitch chat or wherever you can. It'd be really cool to see a lot of love from you fans for me, for Triggers Down, for Kyra, uh, and for just this whole event is really darn cool. They just revealed this morning an observer mode for Evolve, which I'm sure will be showcased at this event, so you're going to get to see and watch the games in far better format than ever before. Today, though, we're taking a practice match, and I'm putting it under the microscope. I want to see how my Kyra play is, kind of evaluate it here, and maybe learn a few things that I can do better, maybe even gain a few tips uh, from you. You guys, as Markov and Kyra, have a little uh, a little tit for tat up in the uh, the spaceship. But let's see how I do as Kyra. We're playing against a pretty solid Wraith here. Um, just getting some work in as a squad, trying to perfect some of our tactics and learn each other better and better. Markov, Abe, Kyra, and Hank is what this group is rocking. I'm not sure what our final look is going to be um, for the tournament 100%. Like I mentioned last video, uh, we kind of have a few different ideas and, and things up our sleeve for depending what we need. Um, but I like Kyra. So we're going to use that Napalm, that Excel, and that healing grenade fire to fix things right for the hunters. Uh, one of the main things I need to make sure I do is stay out of the way of the monster. I'm so used to being sort of at the helm of my team or leading the charge, and in these matches, I've really had to practice restraint and make sure that I'm staying back and doing all that I can to keep myself alive, because if, if Kyra goes down, you know, that is not only detrimental to myself, but to everybody on my team. We're playing on a pretty small map here, so we should have a good chance uh, to spot this Wraith, although Wraith being the slipperiest, the hardest to track of all the monsters, it could get dicey even in a confined zone. So utilizing my jetpack well is something also I have to keep in my mind. I'm kind of making mental notes as I watch this. Make sure you take good care of your jetpack. Make sure you stay out of the way of battle. I kind of like to make sure that I'm not at the same plane level uh, as my teammates to so stay up and above or down below or sort of, you know, keep keep a little change from us. We got to track on the monster based on those birds. So I'll pop my Excel field, which was a good usage. Thumbs up. I get some points there. This Wraith is already stage two. Uh, just like a few seconds in the match, which is crazy. Must have found a food farm and just gone hog wild. Stomach aches don't matter to big monsters apparently on the planet Sheer. Uh, we're tracking. And the other thing is avoiding wildlife. I don't think I run into any this match, but man, if there are any of those carnivorous plants, if there's mega mouths, if there are sloths, if there's tyrants, I gotta keep my butt away from them and make sure that I really do my best. Now in the heat of the battle, in the heat of the moment, anything can happen. Um, I'm gonna be on stage and, and who knows what wild events will take place. One of the coolest parts of Evolve, I think, is that sometimes the smallest little difference can make the biggest change in the battle. Now we've got a track on the monster here. I'm staying back a little bit. We're not ready to dome it, so I'm kind of just holding my ground and making sure that I don't get in the fray and take unnecessary um, damage. I will speed up though to approach them. I'm coming on the trapper side of things um, to come in, make sure he stays healthy if we decide to dome. Um, but like, you know, just thinking about, and I've mentioned it before, but just like you barely miss a dome, you barely get a dome. You know, you, you trap the monster in a place where he can crawl behind a cave, you trap a monster an inch further where he can't make it through to the other side. There's just so many minute factors that I think randomize Evolve, but not in a bad way, in a good way, that makes every match different. One of the big complaints I hear from people is like, oh, it's always the same, it's always the same. It really isn't. It is so different every time. The scenarios, maybe like your guns are the same, maybe the monster is the same, but the way that it takes place, just like you could say like a basketball game or a football game is always the same, but really the way that they're you know, the way that they play out is totally different. Now, I'm going to try to get a little napalm damage on the Wraith here just to start um, some of that damage over time while I have a chance. Um, we got Hank on the shield, so I feel pretty safe. I'm going to back away, though, to make sure that I don't get any unnecessary um, issues. That was some bad grenade shots. I got one on him, but we're okay. He didn't really take much damage. Got to make sure I'm really accurate with that. All right, the Wraith has popped a supernova over there, so just stay out of that field. Doing some damage with the orbital. I love these dome encounters where we're in a big space. You know, the more room there is to work with. Confined quarters are good in some instances, but man, I feel like at these higher levels, the more open you have it, the more ability you have to space out your hunters. 
the better chance you have at dealing damage. And again, remember, this is a case of multiple encounters being required to take this thing down. We're not able to do it all in one go, and that's just kind of how it works. We've got another mark on the monster. Uh, he has been tracked by Abe here, so we are in good shape. Hopefully I can get over these guys uh, and pop the acceleration field. I'll use it a little bit before. Get him up to speed with me in a split second. Always keeping myself at full health. Why not? The reloads on these guns are really slow. But one cool tip I, I learned um, is that it, the guns reload even if you switch them out. So while the health grenades are reloading, you can switch over to Napalm try to get some hits in. Now, he is in dire straits over here, um, but we got a good shield on him. I'm going to do my best to stay out of the way here um, and, and try to keep him alive. We'll get a quick reload there and see what we can do. They're going all in on the trapper, which is smart. We'll use an orbital to sort of keep uh, basically a bodyguard from the sky comes down. And now you'll see um, Trapper is back to about half health. So we averted any sort of disastrous strikes there that would have given the Wraith uh, a decent advantage at stage two here. Um, and only a couple minutes into the match. Now I'm staying high. I'm making sure things are okay. Um, my movement also needs some work. I got to make sure that I don't run myself into any dangerous situations. Sometimes when you're aiming at the ground to take care of yourself with grenades, you lose track of the world around you. And I got to make sure that I maintain spatial awareness of everything in these tournament matches. We've got a tag on Wraith and we've got birds on Wraith. So we're in good shape. Making sure everybody is feeling mosty toasty, revived, and well off. We're all good as new. I've Benjamin buttoned everybody back to full strength. Now we've got support and assault pushing aggressively against the monster here. And this is a pretty good split because you got support with the cloak. you got medic with the heal burst. Um, so we're keeping everybody pretty safe and making sure that no group uh, is going to risk taking an unnecessary strike. Now the monster is hanging out down here. Don't know that it sees me. I'm up ahead. It's using warp blast to travel. Remember there's been a lot of nerfs to the Wraith, so I wonder how that will factor in um, when those are finally implemented. They won't be for this tournament. Uh, that's okay. We're, we're not used to them anyway, so who the heck cares? I'm curious like how many what the monster breakdown will be. Tons of Kraken, tons of Wraith. I'm predicting, like, this is just a random prediction, but I'm predicting, let's say, like, 60% Wraith, 30% Kraken, 10% Goliath. That's just kind of how I, I guess things will go. We just missed the dome, but it's okay. We got a tag on the monster, and a smart save of the Excel, so it's ready to be you just here in perfect Harmony with every other hunter as we move towards the monster, keeping everybody fully healed. I always see the black bar on the end of their, uh, or like the end of the black bar surrounding their, um, bordering their health, and I think they're like a little low on health, so I'll like just get OCD about it and pop one more grenade at them to make sure everybody is feeling fresh. Um, again, with Wraith, if, if it's a silent monster and you don't have a tag, it's pretty difficult, but being a smaller map, being that we have Aiden, we've been able to basically keep this Wraith on her heels the entire game, or, or rather on her, her hands, because she's just crawling forward, no looking back, doesn't even have time to settle those weird, whatever you want to call them, tentacle, mermaid tail, floppy arm leg things down on the ground. We're just keeping the pressure on all the way, and that is, like, I played some monster matches the other night, um, just for the fun of it, and I somehow got grouped up with some level 40s, and they were keeping me on the run constantly, and I think that's what you got to do against these higher level monsters, and don't give them time to get away, don't give them time to level up, because a level 3 monster is going to be tough to deal with. Now, this is what, on one hand, might look like a very difficult um, dome, because we are in an indoor area, and there are some tight corners, but... We do have a lot of space. You'll notice there's a lot of vertical and horizontal space, which gives us chances to evade and dodge sort of in all planes, the X, Y, and the Z plane. Um, going hard here, and I'm going to try to, well, they're down, but it's okay. Grabbing, trying to deal significant damage. That is support, and we're going to try to get him back up. Come back, support. Wraith is kind of forgotten, but not forgotten about support. I got support back up. There's a strike. Beautiful thing about Kyra and Val is they can't pick people up without touching them. It's like they blow them kisses and they're back before you know it. Um, support is down again, it looks like. So we're going to pick up a second strike here. But I had to make sure I stayed healthy, otherwise I was doomed for a strike as well. I don't have a heal burst yet. Um, and again, coordinating my heal burst with Excel field, when to use it, when to use grenades, has been something um, that I've really tried to sort of figure out and iron out over the last couple of days is when I want to do what of what. Now, we've done significant damage to Wraith, so taking two strikes on support and one on medic here it was, you know, not perfect play by any stretch, but it doesn't really uh, impact us in any way because we will take the trade 
of, you know, 80% of the Wraith's health meter being down. You look at that armor count, even if this Wraith makes it to stage 3, we are sitting pretty um, with so much of that red meter depleted thus far. I'll get everybody back to full strength, and we will continue on our pursuit of this Wraith. It's attracting a lot of birds, but it has to get out of there. It can't stay put because it had no armor, very little health, and if it did remain in the same vicinity or try to sneak around and we got lucky and caught it again, um, that is probably a decoy, I'm guessing. Oh no, it's the actual thing. Wow. We found it. Decoys are always so freaking deadly and so hard to, to pinpoint, but it looked like we got a little damage. This is the decoy here. But somehow back in the corner, um, we got a little bit of... A little damage dealt to the main monster. Um, this is the power relay, and this is kind of where we'd like to set things up. I feel good about our chances. Um, well, I feel good about our chances in the tournament and in this specific match here. Hopefully we can finish this Wraith off. We got a track on it. We had a track on the decoy as well, but it looks like we got a mark on the real deal as she comes in for the closing blow. Um, Wraith is back. Ready to go. Okay. Decoying it up. And again, we're making sure we got guys high. We got guys far away. We're keeping a lot of space here so that this Wraith is not able to go in with a Supernova or a Warp Blast um, and really make much of an impact. I'm now going to head down here. Um, I was going to come back to, to make sure I stayed safe and was trying to track my teammates. But we'll be back up here um, as the Wraith continues to unleash decoys and try to deal damage. We're not really chipping in the armor there. It'd be nice to get some damage going here. And Assault is right on that Markov with the Lightning Gun, trying to finalize uh, the last moments of this Wraith's existence by chipping away at that armor here. We got the dome down. We're sitting free. Let's make sure we finish this thing off uh, before it's done. Not sure if we'll be able to. Countdown on the bubble is probably ticking right now. Unleashing a Supernova again. Trying to get some Napalm damage in there. Um, just to chip away a little more. Lightning gun, um, gotta get some health on the assault. Markov popping a shield, Hank doing work, and Kyra with the Grenadier uh, glory, making sure that nobody goes down here. Wasting a lot of Wraith's time, and we are doing damage. The dome actually has gone down. We didn't finish the fight. Could have probably been a little more efficient, but this Wraith has popped. The Starry Knight Supernova all on us, and uh, is trying to get some stuff going on here. Maybe thinks that she can get another strike, uh, one on our Trapper this time, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. I'm going to keep Trapper back in the green, and now it looks like the Wraith has bailed on us once more. If I'm the Wraith here, uh, I would definitely go armor up, but will that be enough? With no perks on for these custom games and, and no ability for elite wildlife uh, in the tournament, there's not much the Wraith can do except go back and get a little bit of armor. Health is not going to be really repopulated and uh the hunter squad here triggers down ready to get our triggers down and finish this fight off let's see we're just gonna sit and wait wraith what you gonna do what are your options here coming back that armor this is not enough man i'm excited to see behemoth how that changes the field of play with so much armor but for right now this wraith ain't got nothing we drop an orbital right in the center of the platform here. The armor is almost exhausted, getting some napalm strikes while the Wraith tries to focus on our assault and our support over there. Support may go down. Um, I'm going to try to keep him healed as he's cloaked, but it really doesn't play a, a factor. As long as we're dealing damage, this guy's going down. But I do want to be cautious. That's another thing I want to remind myself of is, Zach, you got to be cautious in this tournament. Always play the safe play unless you really got to make a move um, like right now. Right now, it's just all about uh, you know, Napalm and trying to finish this Wraith off as it uses Supernova for one final time. Uh, but in this tournament, I want to make sure that healing is my 95% priority. And I'll let my teammates take care of the, the ripping to shreds as we rip this Wraith to shreds and finish the video off with some explicit language from our excited Hunter group. These guys have been down on Sheer for quite a while, so I find it hard to blame them for their potty mouths. But the victory is what matters most in this match. And that is what we got. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video, including some fun. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Come cheer me on Friday morning, starting at 10 a.m. It's an all-day tournament. Single elimination, though, so we'll hope to stick around uh, for as many hours as we can. Twitch.tv slash Evolve Game. I'll put links down in the description. Follow along there. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash GhostRevel. Check out my teammates' links as well in the description below. And until next time, everybody, fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Thanks again, and we will see you all later.